stopped re recording these unboxings, but I'm gonna record this one just because one time I did get uh, I know an all-in-one from them, and it came broke. The screen was well, the touch panel was broken. The screen was still good. The computer still worked, but the touch panel was broken. So uh, this comes with a monitor, so I'm gonna record this one, especially since the last two computers I technically kind of had issues with, like the one having the PCIe bracket in there. Well, almost every one of them lately. Like I had two, two computers that the hard drives wasn't even attached. Like one was a slid in the lock enough and it was able to move back and forth. Then another one that the hard drive wasn't screwed in and you know, come in a caddy and then they use one screw. That ended up being, uh, that, that drive ended up being damaged. Like I didn't even know, like, so yeah, there's two right there. And then the other one having that card in there like that. And then obviously, you know, the other one had, uh, they removed the cooler, or someone removed the cooler, and they can you could see it in the pictures. They knew they did. The cooler was removed because they took pictures of the CPU. So that's why I'm assuming they took the cooler off of it. Okay, so after making this shot off. Okay, so we have bigger bubble wrap. More more stuff to throw away. Okay. Then like another box inside them a box they they you know they added a little bit of uh, tape here okay here we go so, monitors all bubble wrap and once I get uh, once I get this undone I do okay and then they Unhook the unhook the base because you just snap it. So that's got a gamery look to it, right? So there's that. Okay. Here is oh yeah, like it's not in a maybe this is an OEM box right here. Yeah, it even says HP there. So this is the original box. Okay, so we have the keyboard. I guess uh, no map. I just ripped the ripped the box. I guess that's fine. You know, I'm not a collector. So I got a hinge after a hinge. So here is the uh, brand new. I'm assuming brand new is an HP. I don't see a branding on it. I don't see. I don't see an HP logo on it, but it is in the box. I'm assuming it's an HP keyboard. But yeah, it looks brand new. We're way to, to close this. See, look, like you gotta un, <laughs> you know, you gotta pull this out and pull this one out. So there's a. Uh, brand new keyboard here's a like the part number I don't know if you can see that or not but I don't see any brandy from HP on it but I'm assuming this is an HP keyboard and then we have you know the save ten dollar coupon deal and we have the booklet that's in the wrapper still I was even just mentioning this guy to a guy that was uh, uh, visiting my building that was like, I was like, well, one thing that's good, you know, it's supposed to be brand new, in the brand new, right? So it means if it's truly brand new, no one upgraded it to Windows 10. So it's just sitting on Windows 7. So here is the, I'm gonna say brand new power cord for it. Obviously this was already open, so Ain't like I'm, you know, open someone's. Let me walk around here. I did 
can't see something else in the box. Uh, actually the mouse is in here too so we do have a brand new mouse I'm guessing this is HP2 but it's not branded it even has a uh, plastic still on I can see that so brand new keyboard brand new mouse brand new power, power cord there, there is weirdly uh, I take you off where you can kind of see what I mean like right? So here is the HP box. Yeah, the light's gonna be bright, and you can realize. Down there at the bottom is a label stuck on the bottom of the box. Just like one that should be on the camera. So yeah, that seems really nice. So then we got the little foam brackets here. They had a part number on it. It said this should have an i7. Oh, come on. It should have an i7. Uh, I, I repeat myself. i7 4770 or an i7 4771. I never had a 71. So. And it zoom in. Light's terrible. I wanted to do this just to show the computer wasn't damaged. So we got gray all around. You know, the original, we still have original foil on this. This slides down for your card reader, USB ports, or just USB 2. But then it has, um, this is the one that supposedly had Beats Audio in it. I don't get it. You know, was the audio quality better on this than the original? But other computers I had that said that I compared them I think I had two laptops one that wasn't the Beats Audio Edition and the other one was it had the same audio chip on it two laptops they were basically identical but one had Beats Audio only thing different was uh, with them two laptops the Beats Audio one actually had NVIDIA graphics for it and the other one was just onboard graphics so what's the deal with you know it's saying, you know, Beats Audio. It's just they did that pr promotion thing and they never came with headphones. So then, you know, like that's going to be like almost the end of me talking about this. Just uh, switch up because obviously I'm going to change things around and test this stuff out. So I'm going to do that in a separate video. Windows 7 key 
So we have Windows 7 Home Edition on it. Okay, so we have, you know, here is, here's a monitor. Oh, I guess I zoom back out. You can see, oh, you can see kind of good right here. So here's the monitor. Besides it being really dusty and they did, I said, terrible job cleaning it, whoever cleaned it. But, you know, Acer, Acer, how you pronounce that? And it just has one DV, uh, VGA, so it has one VGA there's a part number if you can see it but the stand just snaps on that's why I wasn't worried about the stand so that just snaps on and then it does have a little little gamer effect to it it is only 720p but since this isn't the original monitor to this computer I was gonna I'm gonna put this with a different system that's gonna be an entry, I guess a low-end entry-level gaming computer because I'm going to pair that. I had the video card still in the X99 system. So this is, so what I'm going to pair this with is, I don't even know if I can do that either with the larger card. I have to buy, yeah, I have to buy an adapter because I don't have the V, I don't have VGA anything adapters. But I was going to pair this with the Quadra, K620 because that see you see my video if you watch them all right if you even watch some of them or you can go back to watch a K620 it would do pretty good at 1080p you know like only game I considered unplayable at 1080p would have been Division 2 but when I doused but when I put the resolution on 720p it was good but this will be native so it will look good as long as the screen itself looks good you can do 720p gaming off that card and some older games would definitely play at higher settings you know like division 2 was running like at 40 fps 1080p low settings but the price i'm going to be asking for the monitor the computer and stuff is definitely worth an entry entry level 720p gaming system so i'm not going to make it out too long the main purpose was to record this to make sure it wasn't looking physically broken but I will set this up. You'll see this in another video where I'll set all this up. I'll test this system and this monitor and the keyboard and mouse all at the same time to see if it actually functions and see if it's truly brand new. If someone opened this up and used it, maybe, we don't know. We'll, we'll check it out fully in, you know, in part, part two. This would be part one of this video. But yeah, I'm gonna call it at that. You guys saying I just wanted to record it to make sure this cheap <laughs> and it's been to monitor and obviously if you can see it it does kind of have a gamery look to it no it doesn't look like a basic monitor so we're gonna call it at that and thank you for watching watch part two because we will I will have this set up on my table over here for we can you know see if this stuff all works hopefully it all works like right, and then I'll list a computer, a old computer for, you know, old brand new computer. Just pull it out of the box and test it. Thank you for watching.